Um, the last thing I want to uh, get to before the questions is um, about how uh, magistrates are picked. Uh, Representative Lyle um, uh, put in a bill for us, and I said uh, earlier, uh, Senator Sheehan's put this in in the Senate for us before, about magistrates. Do you want to describe this at all? Very, very briefly. Uh, as I testified before the, the House Judiciary Committee, if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, looks like a duck, it's a duck. And that's effectively what a magistrate is. A magistrate is a judge um, by another name. Uh, a magistrate does have some authority, uh, some limited authority, not the total authority that, a, that a, uh, an appointment to the judiciary has, uh, but effectively they are serving as a ju judiciary officer. Uh, they are appointed by the governor, uh, and uh, they, that is a, they're bypassing the, uh, uh, the judicial appointing authority uh, in, in circumventing uh, uh, them um, by uh, appointing these politically connected individuals uh, to those positions. Uh, as an attorney I, um, I, who does not practice before the court, and I do arbitration work primarily, uh, I wasn't worried about any repercussions, but I certainly do sympathize with those colleagues uh, on both sides uh, who might pre perform before a magistrate and, and, and uh, worry about any repercussions for uh, their support. But it, it's, it's an onerous um, position that has developed down through the years, uh, and, and I think that it's high time to eliminate it. Senator Sheen, did you want to? Yeah, just as a clarification. So uh, I call them junior judges, and for the same reason my colleague has articulated. But it's it's unfortunately it's the chief judge uh, of the court as opposed to the governor. So the very place that the judge, the junior judge, the magistrate would serve is has been selected by the chief of that particular court, and then they get advice and consent of the Senate. Uh, we added in recent years that they would get a 10-year term, that they could re-up um, if they're nominated by that chief judge, and we would give advice, consent, or not again. The problem is they don't get, uh, it's not a public process, it's not a transparent pro process, as we have uh, merit selection for other judges that goes to the Judicial Nominating Commission, there's none of that going on. And so what happens is it, it ends up kind of being uh, this, this, this tango between the courts and the Senate as to who becomes a junior judge. And that's, that, I think that's, that's concerning enough, but a number of these magistrates then can use that credential as having been a magistrate to kind of advance towards uh, maybe being on the court as a full-fledged judge. And that does happen. Yeah, and so um, it, uh, it was 25 years ago this year that they created this judicial nominating process. And at that point, there were zero magistrates. Now there are about 20. I think there are 22 slots, 22 people uh, sitting uh, as magistrates. And there's something worth mentioning, which is there's a group called the Brennan Center for Justice um, out at NYU Law School. Um, and they work on a variety of democracy issues. But they put out a very good report yesterday about uh, the diversity or lack thereof of state courts. Um, and uh, they were largely looking at state Supreme Courts. Um, Rhode Island ranked very poorly, uh, as you might uh, imagine, in terms of both uh, racial and gender diversity. Um, so they're uh, looking at both. Um, and it's, a, it's worth Googling um, and looking at that report. But magistrates, um, not only is there a problem in that they're often politically connected, um, but it's, it's, there's literally zero diversity uh, among the uh, uh, racial diversity among uh, the 20 current magistrates. The diversity uh, among uh, judges uh, at the various courts uh, is not um, great, but it's, it's not zero. Um, and so one of the things we've seen is when people are being picked uh, less through merit and more through politics, they tend to reflect uh, those who are their political patrons, uh, not only in their, their views, but also uh, in, in who they are, and the result has been that the, these 20 magistrates, um, uh, there's not a single person of color, and you know, uh, a significant portion of those going through the criminal justice system uh, are people of color. So, so we've often talked about the problem with magistrates as a problem of sort of the politically connected getting these jobs, but it's also a problem of sort of equity in our criminal justice system. Um, and I think increasingly we need to, we need to think about it uh, that way. Um, 
So that's sort of, we covered um, the items that we listed as top agenda items and a few others um, here. Um, we talked a little bit about uh, the rules uh, and then we talked a little bit about um, uh, the fact that the, you didn't suspend the rules at the end of the session. I, can throw one. I just want to go back to the magistrate's thing real quick. Yeah. I, I would be remiss if I didn't say, um, you know, I, I'm a, my day job is I'm a criminal defense lawyer. I used to be a prosecutor at the AG's office and, and now I'm in private practice. I'm in our courthouses all of them every day. And I have, I, I know all the judges uh, in the family court, or excuse me, in the Superior District Court and Traffic Court, and I know all the magistrates in those courts as well. I don't do family court practice, but I know, I know a fair number of them. Uh, workers' comp, I'm completely blind to. Our magistrates, say what you will about the selection process and, and the, the criticisms are real, and uh, the lack of diversity is in fact real, but um, they are good people, and they have they're junior judges in only one respect. Um, in the Superior Court, they can't do trials. They do everything else. And in the system where well over 90% of the cases, criminal justice system, are plea bargains, the magistrates are approving the, the sentences just like any other judge would. So um, they have, uh, in my mind, they're judges. They're judges all day long. I won't see them at a trial, but they're judges all day long. So it's, I just wanted to throw a shout out to some of my colleagues out there. They're good people and they're doing the best that they can. Um, in, in most cases, by and large, uh, producing real justice um, you know, as, as best they can. It's, it's worth the point. And, and John, I, I have to respond to that too. I work with some of the magistrates in the past. I do respect them. I think the, the people of integrity, I voted for them, so I'm on the record. But I would say is, let's just remove any, any doubt that they are the best qualified, not just qualified, because I think they're qualified, but are they the best qualified and we have an open process that other people get to participate in, not just those who get the attention of the chief judge. I think that will verify and confirm their abilities as you described. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I feel obliged, historically, to comment to some of the comments by Representative Knight on magistrates. <clears throat> I was actively involved as a member of the bar many years ago in the development of the merit selection process. At that time, I suspect that many lawyers who were active in the practice of law <clears throat> thought the existing judgeships were okay, the judges were doing a good job and so forth. But the feeling was that the public didn't see it that way. And the public doesn't see magistrates that way either. When judges in the old days were selected only from a pool of politicians or people related to politicians, there was a question about the evenness of justice that was handed down. I can't dispute your comments about the ability of the existing magistrates because I'm not practicing any longer. I'm retired, uh, as anyone could guess. And, uh, and I, I wasn't in the uh, practice of uh, litigation either. But the same argument that exists with respect, that expect, that respect, that applied prior to this, as to how judges should be appointed. I see no reason why the same arguments don't apply to magistrates. I think it's understood by practically anyone that's conversing with this issue is they all come from the political arena. The pool comes from people that are either were in politics or have a patron who is in politics. And it's just a bad way for judges to be appointed. I would also comment, uh, emphasize again, that there seems to be a good bit of discrimination in the selection of who the magistrates are. And fiscally speaking, I think you would find that there is very little need for as many judges, or you call them junior judges, as there are in our system now. Rhode Island is a pretty small place. We have a lot of judges 
we have a lot of public relations people, we spend a lot of money for a lot of things that are, are questionable. But with respect to magistrates, Senator Sheehan has been right all these years, and we appreciate uh, his support. I know we're going to go no place with respect to this issue, uh, that common causes, because it's a too, it's too important a patronage position for for politicians, uh, and so they won't give up the grasp. So I just wanted people to know that there, there, are, there are prevailing views that think this system is the wrong system and Common Cause has the right system. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. I am, I, I appreciate that, and, I, and I, I'm glad you actually brought that up again because uh, I, I don't think I was being as clear as I could. I just wanted to, um, uh, I certainly recognize the problems with the magistrate selection system that we have now, um, particularly around diversity issues and particularly around um, the political connections and the public can see it, just like you, just like you laid it out. I just wanted to make the point um, that the folks who are currently wearing those robes are doing the best they can. And uh, you know, I didn't want anyone who would watch this at some website down the line to, to feel like that <laughs> we were heaping scorn on the human beings that currently uh, are wearing those robes. Um, and I want to separate the people from the process uh, for the purposes of this discussion. 